this video here should have went viral. Okay? But see, I know why it didn't go viral. Because it's holding women accountable. She's holding women accountable. Anytime it comes to something holding men accountable, oh, here come all the praise. Here come all the glory. But when it comes to holding women accountable, get shamed for that. They get butt hurt, get in their feelings. Is because you've made a safe place for the truth to be told. Household. Let's talk about the good things that husbands do at home for their household. The good fathers that are out there. Yeah, we talk about that. So much negative is being put on a black man. And then you got a large number of modern feminist women that want to shame good women. Calling them pygmies. You right, they are pygmies. They get picked. Your ass ain't got picked. Your ass don't even get chose. Your ass don't even get looked at. Now run, tell that. Let's get this. Okay. I didn't know it was going to take all of this. Game time. Let me try to figure this out. Let me try to see if I can do this and do that and get the car and do this and love her more and, and, and balance all this. Women, we meet you and we're like, our idea and our fairy tale is you are Prince Charming, honey. And then we try to get you to fit Prince Charming. And the more you don't fit it, the more y'all end up in my office going, but he doesn't do this. Well, has he ever did it? No, but I always just thought my husband would. <laughs> God damn it! You can't make this shit up! But what we see here is a large number of modern feminist women yap they damn gums, run off at the damn mouth, and don't know what the hell they talking about, pacing, placing all of their problems on a good man's doorstep and wonder why that man won't accept them or deal with them. Fuck that. You got issues. You need to deal with your own damn issues. The elevator doesn't go all the way up. You need to figure out why the elevator doesn't fucking go all the way up. You suffer from child issues. It's not a man's responsibility to fix your broken ass. It is up to you to fix you. It is up to you to deal with you. And we see it on social media. Or this man. So are you getting to know who you with or are you making this man fit this fairy tale ideology that doesn't even exist anyways? Mm. And so women come and lead with fit this or you have no value. Men come in and go, all right, I'm here and I'm going to learn how to be the best I can for you. And then women do what? You're taking too long. You're not getting there because you haven't fit the box of the fairy tale. So for me, it's helped me break down what I, all of my clients know, y'all know, I call it the fairy tale ideology. I can't stand a dumb motherfucker, man. Get to know me. She enjoys my company. I don't want no already made woman who already has it up here. No, we're going to start from the bottom and we're going to grow together. It's called growing in love, growing together. That's what it's called. And if you're not willing to do that. That's fine. But I guarantee you, what one woman won't do, someone else will. Take it in that fuck to it. Spit all that thing. Not exaggerating, Cam. I want to say 100%, but I'm going to go 99.9% .9 of women who come in my office, I'm having to work on breaking their fairy tale ideology of their husband. And hold on, let me say this. To his defense, they almost always have an amazing husband. But because his amazingness doesn't fit her idea of amazing, guess what? He ain't shit. Mm. <laughs> God damn it! You can't make this shit up! Most importantly, you have to be willing to peel back the layers of your past. And until you do that, this is what is going to be seen by many. And if this is what is to be seen by many, honey, you are not worth the juice to squeeze.